Hey, Brett with Pack Fitter again. I want to take you through one of my favorite packs today. It's a Tenzing 1200 Ultralight Day Pack. This is, a, this is one of those packs that guys are using to get basically back in and out of the field. Uh, just a short day pack, extremely lightweight. One of the nice features you'll notice about this as soon as you get it is that it literally weighs next to nothing. Uh, the specs show it at exactly two pounds and I believe every bit of it. It is extremely lightweight, but it again, very, very durable. Talking about being durable, as you know, with all the Tenzing packs, they use a fiber called Dyneema, strong as uh, 15 times stronger than steel and light enough to float on water. Really a neat pack. They use it in all the high stress areas on all of their packs that they do. The ultralight day pack, just like all of the other Tenzings, is uh, one of the characteristics is that they have the yellow zipper poles on those, which will signify entry into the main compartment. As you look inside that main compartment, there it's essentially just a large, one large compartment with a pouch for a two liter bladder. It has a hydration port, which then comes up over the shoulder strap, comes into a high quality clip as well. Talking about the clips on these Tenzing packs, they use a Duraflex clip, which compared to a lot of other packs, extremely high end and also lightweight. They, uh, they don't mess around with the products that they use. The zippers on that note as well, the zippers are turned upside down, inside out essentially. What that does is that allows it to move back and forth very quickly. Uh, like you've seen a lot of the other packs, very nice one-handed operation. You just don't find that in most packs. I really, really like that. Other compartments on the 1200 are some for organization and there's actually a pocket here for a rangefinder or some small binoculars. It's fleece lining it keeps it really nice and soft in there. Also has an exterior pocket here as well that is compressible with the compression straps, has bungees on the side, nice place for a jacket, other things depending on the weather. Miscellaneous pockets in and out really has quite a bit of space for organization and a lot of room as well on this. The other thing on the uh, straps on the bottom on the waist straps, they do have pockets which are nice and so I'm going to go ahead and put this on and as you'll notice it is very accessible while you're out moving through the field. Again, perfect for a day pack, perfect for something as you're just moving in and out maybe out of a tree stand or just a short hike. Has the uh, has very accessible here with the small pocket. Actually does have a small zipper garage there as well. The shoulder straps are very, very, very lightweight. You wouldn't be able to carry a whole lot of weight with this because there's not an exceptional amount of padding here, but extremely breathable with mesh and so on. I literally can hardly feel that this is even on. So again, wonderful pack. Uh, it has a lot of applications when you just need something to get in and get out and you only want the essentials. Great pack. Final thing I will show you on this is that it is expandable. It does have a zipper that will go around the entire exterior of that pack and allow it to expand an additional two inches. The pack is rated at 1,210 cubic inches, and so again, gives you plenty of space. You can put a jacket in and out of there. Has compression straps wherever you need them on the top and bottom to be able to put some of the accessories there. So, overall, wonderful pack and uh, something that I think a lot of people will be pleased with. Appreciate your time. We'll see you next time. This is Brett with Pack Fitter.